Hello everyone, <coughs> welcome to Elite with Desocast.com YouTube channel. Uh, today is October the 4th and the chart of the day for today is gold 30 minutes time frame here. So we can see uh, from the chart we ended with 3 in the minor degree here with 4 uh, ended at 26.24 and gold has been a bit sideways so far basically trading between this high and this low right and we bias is higher right it is bullish I, I guess nobody needs to debate on that what the trend is now the idea here here is um, you can see the arrow is only turning up it's not green uh, since we still need to break above this wave 3 here to confirm that the correction is really finished here right so for now we are calling the more aggressive view but the confirmation happens when we could break above the previous peak now we can notice a couple of things here look at the structure of the pullback here look at the structure of the pullback here this one was one two three it's only three swing and it ended at the hundred percent there is no extension on the third leg typically with three as you know reaches 1.618 extension no extension whatsoever and it bounced so the reaction is significant enough uh, basically we can conclude this cycle is over right and uh, somebody who tried to label this one two three four five well you got it wrong because uh, there is no divergence at the lows here right so we need to look at a couple of things guys before we label uh, the Elliott wave so that we can label it the best way and the fact that it rallies and react but then it failed to extend higher and then go down again instead well that tells you it is doing a double three or double correction right so in this case it's in the form of ABC and then the other one is WXY now if you don't really like WXY well, you can force it to be ABC it doesn't matter right uh, some people like to call WXY W6 set but in EWF the the subdivision of the W and the Y doesn't need to be a zigzag. Uh, for example, here could be in the form of another WXY, but in a lower degree, of course. Okay. So the other thing that we can notice here, even after a double three, now you notice this bigger WXY is also finishing more or less at the 100% extension and rally higher. So that tells you for sure the market is not bearish. It's not bearish right you got very classic textbook rule that is being followed precisely three swing higher a bigger three swing higher hit 100% turn higher that tells you for, uh, clearly that the market is bullish look at this rally it looks impulsive right look just look at the structure it looks impulsive and then um, look at this look at this last pullback here now what do you what do you see here this doesn't look impulsive at all right it looks like a three ways one two three now measure the extension of the ABC here this one didn't even hit the hundred uh, percent suggesting that the you know the the corrective pressure is very weak <laughs> and then it didn't even hit hundred percent and already bouncing higher again so all in all basically currently we are looking for more upside confirmation break above with three now what about if for whatever reason maybe NFP and so on cost go to sell off well then that doesn't really change anything right it does not it still remains bullish but the problem is if it doesn't have to like down all, all it is doing is it is doing even a bigger WXY or double three or whatever you want to call it but in a bigger one two three and you can for sure expect another buyers coming if that happens at the next hundred percent why because this entire thing is corrective I have no reason to believe this is suddenly going to be extending to 1.618 of this for example since this one is not even impulsive right so you're gonna uh, get another support at the hundred percent extension uh, even if it sells off but for now it looks less likely that this is going to happen so that's why we are looking for the more aggressive view and we, we I say the more aggressive view is because we have not broken above the peak if we have broken above the peak 
and technically it is already bullish it's confirmed to be bullish because it has already extended higher now even just a break above with one here is going to increase the chance tremendously we're going to break above this peak as well the break above this peak here is going to create another high high again favoring more upside okay so that's the update here for gold today and as always if you want if you want to get more updates or more regular updates on gold silver or any other commodities forex indices stock feel free to check our service we have 14 days trial and the link is in the description of the video i'll see you all again next time and have a nice day everyone